Hi, it's Shane here, and I'm coming to you today from the Game of Thrones studio experience here in Northern Ireland. So this experience launches on the 4th of February, and we managed to catch up with a few key cast members, as well as some of the set designers on this award-winning, amazing TV show. So stay with us over the next few minutes to see how we got on. The remarkable thing about this studio tour is these are the sets we walked on, these are the costumes we wore, these are the props we used, these are the swords uh, swords we fought with. So everything about this is authentic and it is a huge walk down memory lane. Plus for me it's a real eye opener as well because you know all my stuff was either in King's Landing and at the end in Bravos. Uh, so I never got to the wall, I never got to uh, Winterfell. And to see those aspects of the show is so amazing. When we were chatting earlier about the level of detail in some of the costumes, are there any here that really stood out to you? Uh, for me, my personal favourite is right behind us, and it's this one that uh, Amelia Clark wore uh, as Daenerys. And if you look at it very closely, she's wearing a silver chain. And if you look even closer, there are two perfect miniature dragon heads on top of the chain. And that attention to detail uh, permeated every single aspect of Game of Thrones. Everything from the props, the attention to detail on the sets, the attention to detail on the costumes, everything about it. The detail is incredible, and I think that's what the fans are really going to enjoy when they come here. They're going to get an absolutely wonderful experience, and they're going to get all the time they want to see up close and personal all the stuff that we used, and they'll be able to see that detail. Whereas sometimes you wouldn't see it in the show. Yeah, yeah. You know, that scene was gone so fast, but when you come back and look at it again, yeah, I think the fans are going to love this. So when I was chatting to the Northern Irish Tourist Board, they were saying approximately one in six visitors to Northern Ireland yeah. are coming here because of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Like, you must be so proud to be a part of that. It's phenomenal. I mean, none of us knew, obviously, way back when, whenever this series was first mooted, none of us knew that we didn't even know that we might be part of it, but we, none of us knew the scale on which it was going to develop. It was fairly evident fairly early on that, that the vision and the ambition was huge. And uh, after, certainly I think by the time it came to the second season, everybody thought this, place, this is definitely going places. It did go places in a big way. And it's, you know, reputedly the biggest and most successful show ever made. When you see it, you can kind of understand why, because the, the imagination, the vision, the ambition is, it was enormous. And yet somehow or another, they managed to realize all that. And uh, now you have the, the wonderful thing that the series is over, it's already three years over, but it's almost like it's being brought back with all of this. When this comes online, you have one location where you have 12, 15, I don't know, 20 sets, 20 specific locations in which pe people actually filmed this series. You as a, as, a, as a visitor coming to it, you only ever seen it on screen. Now you're gonna be in it. Thanks for taking the time out to chat to us today, Tommy. My pleasure, Shane. And tell us, you worked on a lot of the weaponry throughout the series and the show. An incredibly huge undertaking. The level of detail we're seeing on display here is absolutely phenomenal. Which is great. I'm, 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 I'm delighted you said that because the detail is all about what I do as well. It's trying to create that beautiful sword or spear or shield or scorpion you'll see coming through. So it's trying to create that iconic image and, and look for per different house. So yeah, I'm, I'm delighted you spot that. <laughs> yeah, I, I can hear from the tone of your voice, you're obviously a Wicklow man. Very much so, born and bred Wicklow town. Yeah, proud of it, up Wicklow. <laughs> and you must be so incredibly proud to be working on something that's been such a huge driver for Northern Irish tourism. 
It's great. And Southern Ireland for what it was, because there's a lot of people that we work with. I mean, obviously we're dealing with, you know, a good 10 years of, of your life. And you're dealing with people from North and South coming up, as well as your extras. So they're all coming up. And we've had people are coming off jobs from down South, straight up, up North. So you, it's a full interaction, North and South, as well as, as well as looks and styles. But it's been fantastic for Northern Ireland. You know, it really has put, as much as it was on the map for obvious reasons, but it was, um, it's put it onto, on, onto the map regarding the film industry, much bigger than it was before Game of Thrones came to town. So thanks so much for taking the time out to chat to us today. I mean, it's such incredible work. It's been an absolute delight to see. Lovely, thanks Shane, thank you very much. <laughs>